sound is vibration. That means when I'm making the sound in this bowl, it starts to vibrate. Watch what happens to the water. Watch what the vibrations do to the water. Your hand wiggles. Look, 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 look. Do you see what's happening? Yeah, 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 I see it. It's a ring. I got some more heads. You see all those weird little wiggly ones? See all those weird little wiggly ones? That was excellent. That was really loud noise in there. Go ahead. Do it again, louder. Even more. Yeah! 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 How many of you are growing up right now? Your parents said, I didn't have CD players and DVD players and video games and iPads and iPods. Well, guess what? My parents said, I didn't have color TV and stereo and transistor radio. And their parents said stuff that, you know, it's all relative. See, because when I was a kid, I could never have conceived of computers. Do you look at this? Look at this. This is my phone. It's a computer. It's more powerful than the bank of computers that was used to put a human being on the surface of the moon. And you carry one in your pocket. Of course I didn't have one of these when, when I was my age. Of course my parents didn't. It wasn't invented yet. We couldn't have conceived of anything like this. But I will say that uh, when I was my age, we were pretty high tech. This is what we had. <laughs> that is a transistor radio, my friends. That was about the size of a cell phone. And none of this fancy stereo earbuds for me. We had a lousy freaking earphone that had a plug. Look at that plug. It's so big, that never fit into any kid's ear. Never. You'd have to screw it in your head and stick it on with duct tape. It was so... And the cord. You couldn't even stretch the cord out like this. Go. Left hand over that loop. Now, put your right hand near, just tighter back and forth. Now lift your left hand up. There you go. Come on. 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 close to this loop, it interrupts the electromagnetic field, and my hand acts as a capacitor for the electricity. The closer I am to the loop, the softer the sound will be until there's none. As I lift my hand, it gets louder, so the further away I am, the louder it is, the softer it is, the closer I am to the antenna. It opens and closes a volume circuit, and over here, there's another electromagnetic field, and when my hand interrupts it, there are these frequency oscillators in the box, but basically picture two frequencies. They are really high. You, listen, you can't hear. They're, they're, so, they're so high, they're so high that the only person that could hear them would be a dolphin wearing a bat for a hearing aid. <laughs> and, so, and so when, when my hand interrupts this electromagnetic field, these two frequencies, one of them drops. And the one that drops is the variable frequency and it's subtracted from the fixed frequency. And the difference frequency, that third frequency, is what you hear as sound. The principle in physics is called the heterodyne principle. Hetero from Greek meaning different, dyne meaning forces. In this case, two different forces somehow combine to make this brand new third force. And that's the physics of it, which is incredibly excitingly boring. <laughs> but, but the thereminist, we know. We know the real technical term for the theremin. That term is magic. It's, it's magic. It's so magical. Arthur C. Clarke said, any sufficiently developed technology is indistinguishable from magic. 
picture, your cell phones, your DVD players, the Bluetooth. It's all like magic. How does it work? I'm going like this. Imagine how it freaked people out in 1919. <laughs> so to get you past the physics of it into the magic of it, let's put it in terms that everyone can understand. Hamburgers. <laughs> Here is a Big Mac, two all beef patty, special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles, onions on a sesame seed bun. That are, those are the ingredients in those proportions in that order. It is a fixed frequency. You take away any one of those ingredients and it ceases to be a Big Mac. So that never changes. Two all beef patty, special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles, onions on a sesame seed bun. And our variable frequency is from Burger King. It's the double Whopper with cheese because at Burger King you can say, well, I'd like the Whopper with no lettuce or put on extra onion, or take off the one burger, put on some bacon, add some cheese, put on maple syrup and peanut butter. They don't care. It's Burger King. So what happens when you subtract the double Whopper with cheese from a Big Mac? Ah, anybody? Well, you, you might think that what you get is the bacon double cheddar ranch at Wendy's. <laughs> but you see, that's, that's just another burger. It's, it's not magic. You might even think that it's the bacon double bypass burger from Jack's Outback Heart Attack Shack. <laughs> but that's still just a burger. It's still just a burger.